I am Mr. P. C. Niyogi, teacher from Government Girls Higher Secondary School, Shillong. Today, I will teach students of Class 9, Mathematics. This is Chapter 3, Coordinate Geometry. So students, first of all, we have to understand what is coordinate geometry. So I will start with the introduction. The geometry which Indians and Greeks used to study in ancient days was free from the use of algebra. This approach to the subject of geometry was continued for 1300 years until the French mathematician and philosopher René Descartes published La Geometric in 1637 AD. See, this is the history. Pierre de Fermat, another French mathematician, also contributed for the invention of the coordinate geometry. Descartes gave a new idea of combining the two branches of mathematics. One is algebra and another one is geometry. This combination of algebra and geometry is known as analytic or coordinate geometry. Descartes introduced Cartesian system of coordinates for describing the position of a point in a plane. See. This is the picture. This is René Descartes, who is the first, first mathematician who gave the idea of coordinate geometry. Now, to explain about the coordinate geometry, I shall start from ordered pairs. What is ordered pairs? Pairs means two, two numbers. A pair of numbers A and B, suppose A is one number, B is another number, which are listed in a specific order, A at the first place and B at the second place, is called an ordered pair and it is written as A, B. For example, 2, 5, 5, 2, you can take another number also. Suppose 3, 4, etc. are ordered pairs. But students, you remember it, A, B is not equal to B, A unless A equal to B. See students. In this picture, you see two lines, they are perpendicular to each other. The line which is placed horizontally, that is x dash ox, is known as x axis. And the line y o y dash, this is known as y axis. These two lines, they intersect at o. O is known as origin. So this is our coordinate system. Now coordinates of a point. Suppose a point is given. And that point it lies in which part of this graphical axis so that is to be explained before that I would like to explain quadrant you see these two lines when they intersect each other at O they make 
four quadrants. These are called quadrants. So first one is first quadrant that is x o y. Then second quadrant y o x dash. Third quadrant x dash o y dash. And fourth quadrant x o y dash. Means you have to find the quadrant anticlockwise. If you move anticlockwise, then you will get first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, and fourth quadrant. In the first quadrant, the x coordinate is positive and y coordinate is also positive. In the second quadrant, x is positive sorry x is negative and y is positive in the third quadrant x is negative y is negative and at last in the fourth quadrant x is positive y is negative see here one point p three comma four that means plus three plus four so obviously it will lie in the first quadrant and we have to start from the origin O since X coordinate is 3 then we have to count 3 units on the X axis from O so O to M O M equal to 3 unit and then from M we have to count plus 4 towards y four units so om we will say this is abscissa and pm is called ordinate in the same way we can say np abscissa and on ordinate I think this part you have understood. Now students, you see in the graph paper, this point P 3,4, how it is plotted on the graph paper. So in an exam, you will get such type of graph paper. First from the origin, I have counted 1, 2, 3 in the x direction. Then again, from 3 so I marked it here M from M you have to go to the Y direction that is positive direction so plus 4 1 2 3 4 and you can plot this point P 3 comma 4 so these are the points X dash O X and Y dash O Y are called x axis and y axis. The length NP or OM, as I told you just now, is called x coordinate or abscissa of the point P. Similarly, the length MP or ON, as I told you, is called y coordinate or ordinate of the point P. Here, abscissa equal to 3 units and ordinate equal to 4 units. Let us proceed to the exercise 3a. Question number 1. In which quadrants do the following points lie? So these are the points. 1. Sub question 1. Minus 6,6. So students, I give you the easy idea. You see x value that is negative and y positive. That means minus 6, so minus and plus 6, it is plus, minus, plus. Do you remember as I told you just now in which quadrant minus plus they lie? It is in the second quadrant. Similarly, you see this question 6 comma minus 5. You just take the sign. One is plus sign, plus 6 plus sign, 
minus 5 minus sine plus minus so plus minus it lies in the fourth quadrant similarly question number 3 3 comma 7 1 is plus 3 1 is plus 7 plus plus it lies in the first quadrant number 4 minus 3 comma minus 4 both are negative so minus minus it lies in the third quadrant now in question number 2 you see on which axis do the following points lie these are the points given you have to say whether this point 4 comma 0 it lies on the x axis or y axis first you see the value of x coordinate is 4 and the value of y coordinate is 0 you remember x equal to 4 that means from the origin you have to move on the x axis 4 units so it is clear that you are moving on the x axis but you are not moving on the y axis because y coordinate is 0 hence the point lies on the x axis because you are moving on the x axis then in question number 2 0 comma minus 3 here you see the value of x is 0 that means you are not moving on the x axis from the origin so you are moving only on the y axis that is the y value y coordinate minus 3 hence it lies on the y axis in this question you see same way 0 comma minus 4 it lies on the y axis then number 4 minus 3 comma 0 so x is minus 3 that means you are moving from the origin on the x axis since y coordinate is 0 you are not moving on the y axis hence it lies on the x axis now in question number 3 you see draw the lines x dash o x and y dash o y as the coordinate axis on a graph paper plot the following points on it so these are the questions these are the points you have to plot it on the graph paper so first point is a 4 comma 7 this is the graph paper see a 4 comma 7 i have plotted 4 is positive 7 is positive so plus plus it lies in the first quadrant so from the origin when it is plus 4 so you have to move to the x direction <clears throat> in the right hand side then you count plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 after that you see the y coordinate is 7 that is plus 7 that means you have to move to the y direction which is positive so i am moving up 1 2 3 4 <coughs> 5 6 7 and this is the point a 4 comma 7 then number 2 that is b minus 4 comma 3 since x is minus 4 so from the origin you have to move in the left hand side that is negative value so x dash you have to move towards x dash so minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 but here you see y is positive plus 3 so from minus 4 again you have to move to y direction to the positive direction so 1 2 3 so b minus 4 comma 3 
in the same way the next question c minus 5 comma minus 4 so i have counted from origin minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 then y coordinate is minus 4 so again i have counted to y dash direction that is negative direction so minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 c minus 5 minus 4 in this way you can plot d 3 comma minus 6 and e minus 4 comma minus 4 this is question number 4 write the coordinates of the following points a b c and d marked on the graph paper as shown in the following figure see students in this question there is a graph paper points are marked a b c and d so you have to write the coordinates of a b c and d can you tell me what is the coordinate of a what are the coordinates of a see from the origin you move in the right hand side one two three four then from four again you move up one two three four five that means x coordinate is four and y coordinate is five so your answer will be a four comma five the next you go to b the point b here you see from the origin you count in the left hand side minus one minus two minus three that is x coordinate and from minus three you go up because the point is in the second quadrant so you go up one two three so the coordinates will be minus 3 plus 3 in the same way the coordinates of c are minus 4 minus 4 and d 6 minus 2 these are answers so students i hope you have understood and you practice it at home on the graph paper you use the graph paper and you go through the examples also you will understand better thank you